guys happy weekend welcome to my weekend vlog <music> so for real with you guys right now i'm sorry it's too hot i'm not wearing any makeup i'm not bothering with my hair so we rock in the bass pro shop hat um i almost gave up on filming this weekend because i had to work from home this morning and then i was like mm, i have to work again later tonight from home so i was like maybe i'll just lounge around and be lazy and a little depressed girly today but i was like no like let's be proactive let's give the people some content so I'm dressed as good as I can be given the situation. It's hot, it's gross. Um, but I think I might take a little hot girl walk over to my favorite thrift store. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. We'll do a little haul when I get home and we'll see what else ends up happening this weekend. So welcome back. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Lots of love to you guys and also shout out to all of my TikTok family. A lot of you guys are making your way over here to my YouTube channel. So special shout out to you. Love you and let's get out of the apartment. Rare for me on a weekend. Let's do it. One more thing before we go, let me hit you guys with a chaotic fit check. So we already know I got on the Bass Pro Shop hat. Um, I have this really cool Sailor Moon like oversized graphic shirt. I got this from SneakerCon in Miami from some guy. I wish I remembered his name because his shirts are really cool, but I do not. And then I just have some baggy, humongous, ripped jeans on and some cow print vans that I custom made under the custom icon on the Vans website. So that's a fit. We're rocking with it. I don't know exactly what it's giving, but it's giving what it needs to today, guys. So let's go. All right, so we got about a 20 minute walk ahead of us. So far, it's already too hot for me to be fully thriving, I guess, but we're gonna do it. It's a hot girl walk, you guys. It's good for me. So let's go. Guys, I'm so excited. We're like halfway there, but I'm stumbling across a block party. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> I can't stress enough how like fun and cool it is to live in Brooklyn. Like times like this, especially the summertime, the energy <laughs> in the streets is just the best. I love it. I made it. I'm probably as red as a tomato because it's so hot, but let's see if there's any good stuff inside of L Train today. <laughs> So that was a semi-success. I did end up getting that blue and white like checkered dress, but my fitting room didn't have a mirror. Like the dress felt like it fit, but I didn't see it on. So we're gonna try it on when I get home and I'll show you guys. But literally that's all I got. So I'm a little bit sad because I wanted to get a few more things. Normally I go to the larger L Train Vintage location that is like huge and you can spend all day there. This is the only one that's like walking distance from where I live. And the selection was not giving. It was really weird. They have way more men's stuff than women's stuff. And the women's stuff that they did have was either like actual grandma core and not in a cute way or just like really outdated like express blingy stuff. I don't know. So I'm happy that I found the dress that I did, but a little disappointed. But overall, I'm really happy though, because at least I got out of the house and did something. Normally I wouldn't do that on a weekend, especially when I have to do some moderating shifts what is my hair doing good lord um but yeah normally i wouldn't leave the house on like a saturday during the summertime so i'm proud of myself for getting out there taking my hot girl walk and i got one dress so hopefully it's cute we'll see when i get home but i'm gonna walk back now and i'll see you guys there okay sorry the audio is bad i had to turn on the ac it's too hot but you guys, I'm afraid that this dress is actually a huge sleigh. But it was $10. The tag is like a vintage Austrian tag, but for $10? You guys can't see, but it is like floor length. 
This looks like a $200 plus anthropology dress. So cute. Like I'm super into like farmer's daughter aesthetic right now and just like obviously cottage core forever. But um, me and my fiance are gonna go to Cape Cod in the fall time this year. But imagine how cute me sitting in Cape Cod eating some oysters in this dress. Do we see the vision for $10? This is gonna conclude Saturday though, cause I am just gonna tidy up the apartment and then I have to work from home from six to 9 p.m. So nothing exciting is gonna happen the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys on Sunday. See you tomorrow. Okay, so it's Sunday now. Um, it's definitely not the morning. <laughs> it is indeed the afternoon because I woke up early to work from home. And then what happened, Jacob? Slept in. I slept in and now it's one, but we're still gonna have fun. So let's go. But first, fit check. All right, shoes, Delia's. They got the heart on the toes. They're actually really comfy. Tights are knockoff. I think Ashley Williams, but I got them from Urban Outfitters. Don't tell anyone. I've had this romper since my sophomore year of high school and I'm not letting go of it anytime soon. Bag is poster girl. Sunglasses are three dollars on Etsy, and what's the vibe giving? Style. Style. Big if true. All right, world's best fiance. What are we cooking up today? Uh, Some sneakers. All right. Glow pants. You need glow. The Supreme. You're the tiger shirt. Suprame. Um, the black fly slightly stupid. Flat. Huge. And, and the signature the, the SD, SD hat. hat. Eighth one. Shout out to Elijah. All right. All right. So we're at Micro Center and Industry City just for the vibes. I don't need anything over here. So. Now we are actually inside Industry City and here is a montage. scoured up and down the food hall and we decided <laughs> on Korean food because it has an award from the New York Times. Wow. So let's see if it's good. This place is called Ejen Foods and straight up they have the best kimchi I ever had. <laughs> All right, Industry City was, how many thumbs up? One, two, oh, yeah, a, few thumbs. a few thumbs up, oh. And now we're gonna go to Petco and we'll see what happens. All right, we're leaving Petco and today I learned a valuable lesson about self-restraint because I almost bought a baby bearded dragon and he was really cute and I almost got him this close but ultimately I walked away and we are without bearded dragon so what are we doing now? We'll find out. Guess we'll find out crying in the car maybe going home letting out a little tear maybe We'll see. Alright, so we made it back home. I'm done being sad about not getting a bearded dragon, even though it is a little sad, but <laughs> it's okay. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. upsetting, but that's alright. Yeah, so I'm tired, but then we got a coffee on the way home, so now I'm not tired. So now I'm gonna edit this exact video that you're watching right now, which is so crazy how that works. 
So I'm going to edit it and post it and that's going to conclude this weekend vlog. So thanks for watching again, you guys, and coming back to my channel. I mega, mega, mega appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to try to do at least one video a week, maybe two videos a week going forward. Do you think I can do it? Yeah. Really felt that. And yeah, so <laughs> thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. You are loved, you are worthy, and I appreciate you. Um, leave a comment down below, like this video, and yeah, please, and thank you. All right, see you next time. Bye, guys.